scholar art picture looks like a little fucking kid. It's his thick ass wool socks up to his knees. A little knowledge. My ear itches. Alright, luckily I think I do have a book to this place. So we have to go to the past. To start it. Uh, not the crystal. This one seemed long. Wait, what? Hold on. Alright, before that, I need to buy something from the auction house. Hopefully they have it. I mean, otherwise you can get it by trading rolling berries, but I gotta buy those. Two. Oh my god, I hate this fucking crystal doesn't, like, read that it's right in fucking front of you to, like, you scroll through a thousand things. That might be pricey though, too. I think they're all in bears. Are they pricey? Can't remember. Hope, hope they can just buy them here. Um, apparently, need to be a mage job for this, but we're summoners, so we're good. Alright, this is gonna be under. Leathercrafts. We want vellum. I need a 12, right? Yeah. Of course. Can we get her 50? Maybe cheap? Nope. Fine, so we'll have it. Fifty six thousand. Oh, it's because they want you to use one of your two hour abilities, but it has to be one of the, the mage ones. Okay. That makes sense. Nope. One of these abilities and effects speak to Arlene again to activate another cutscene. Reward the Gormoir. Right. Actually, this is gonna be super fucking quick, I think. So that's actually very nice. Because the only thing you can ask for is this, this bell and we just bought. Alright, so we want next page and I want... Durflin font? Maybe I haven't been to that, the Necropolis here. I thought I had. Haven't I? Oh yeah, I have. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure I've been there. Basically, if you want to do the Rollenberry way, I think you can buy them. If not, you can go to Crawler's Nest. Actually, yeah, the the guy who sells them to you is in Crawler's Nest. The um the vellum, be, or well, not sell it, but you trade him Rollenberries. Basically, you trade him e twelve stacks of Rollenberries. 120 gil each. Actually, it's not that. that's not bad. Maybe I should have done it that route. But this is actually going to make it a lot faster. So, you know what? It is what it is. This is the cheap, lazy way. I mean, the, I guess, expensive, lazy way. I'm going to be lazy. It's going to cost you. Alright. So, where the fuck am I going? 
J8 first map, probably right here on the mini map of this people. We want to talk to her. Check in the scholar outfit. Erlene. Oh, potential pupil. Have you come to enroll on the in the Schultz School of Martial Theory? Uh, where's the dotted line? Wow, no. Once your scholar is level 5 or higher, return to Arlene the Aldermane Necropolis to learn the spells in Brava and Kostara, or Kostra. These spells are not available via scroll. You'll learn them automatically when speaking to her while in scholar. Oh, interesting. Such enthusiasm. We certainly welcome beginners. Ah, uh, positively rude of me. You may address me as Professor Arlene, as well as serving as the operations staff here in the Necropolis. I teach martial theory to academic applicants in my capacity as a military scholar. And what is martial theory, you ask? In a nutshell, it is the study of applying tactics and strategy to ensure victory in the, on the field of battle. Charles School of Martial Theory mainly focuses on the study of ancient military magic, to texts known as grimoires. The beauty of this approach is the effective incorporation of spells and incantations into the latest strategies and tactics. Pupils schooled in Schultz Martial Theory are valued across Vanadia as martial tacticians. Allow me to demonstrate the dual nature of my grimoire. That was the white grimoire, and this is the black grimoire. Cool. Do I have your full attention now? Realizing the, need take, uh, the teachings of the Schultz theories, one is able to switch between the two as the situation demands. I'm assuming white's like heal, black's damage. Fressel Albrecht, when did you return? I must introduce myself to our guest, Professor Arlene. Greens, I'm Professor Albrecht, Chief of the Operations of the Pulkin Army of Bastok. He, from my observations, I would say your interest was captured more by that flashy grimoire display than Professor Arlene's explanation of Schultz's martial theory. I do not mean to criticize. It's natural for us to feel wonder at the things we do not understand. That curiosity is your ally. Whoever mastered the grimoire requires more than simple enthusiasm. A pity I do not think you... Well, enough of your ponderous blustering, Professor. The gates of knowledge must not be closed to one with the willingness to learn. Is that not a fundamental law of the Schultz School? Do not take the Professor's flippant dismissal to heart. You will have to take your chance to learn. Oh, you will have your chance to learn. There are, however, certain requirements you must understand. The Grimoires are valuable tomes. Uh, I'm not seeking to deprive you of coin. There are other... Sheets of vellum. We have a dire shortage of sheets of vellum. Professor Albrecht, I thank you not to interrupt me. Have I misspoken? Do we not require this material in abundance? While the matter is not terribly urgent, I believe 12 sheets of vellum should cover our needs. You have your task, Altana's fortune smile upon you. Professor Albrecht, this applicant has yet to be processed. 12, not one less. Professor? All right. Uh, if you would be so kind as to collect 12 sheets of vellum, I shall begin planning an exclusive curriculum for your introduction to martial theory. You got it. In fact, I already have it. There you go, that's for you. Ah, oh, the sheets of vellum, excellent. I'm still rather irked at Professor Albrecht's imposition. It is true we scholars can never have enough vellum in stock. I've already prepared your grimoire from our available supplies, of course. Inside of inscribed into curriculum on which to base your studies. Your grimoire is both magical tome and tactical manual. A military scholar fights with both intellect and knowledge. This book will be your weapon. Tell me, what are the two main schools of magic? Yes, white magic and black magic. Their natures are diametrically opposed, leading most practitioners to focus on one school or the other in order to attain true mastery. However, we scholars learn the laws of magic as a single theory, and thus overcome the disadvantages inherent in specialization. In simple terms, we are able to utilize the full potential of both forms of magic. From a tactical point of view, a scholar can choose the incantation most suitable for the task at hand. 
regardless of school. That is the strength that lies at the heart of the Schultz School of Martial Theory. But rather than listening to me drone, you better be served your you would be better served by reading the grimoire and experiencing the theory for yourself. One learns faster through doing, yes? Very well. Let's have you read the first page while producing an arcane tap effect. This manifestation of arcane energy will trigger the astral properties of the grimoire and empower the words within. It will also serve as to attune the tome to your personal astral signature. Ah. An arcane tap effect is somewhat different to the sudden burst of magic provided by the spell such as fire. It's a steady stream of magical energy. Both Manifont and Chainspell are examples of arcane tap effects. How else can I explain? Ah yes, while similar, Benediction will not produce the required energy. So you can't be a white mage here. So everything but that. The magical power of such abilities dissipate at the culmination of spellcasting. Do you understand the difference? She just wants to show off. Bring out the book. Now initiate whichever arcane tap effect is available to you, and open the grimoire to the first page in order to complete the attunement process. Okay. Hey, Raz Yamato. Welcome. Yep, you gotta be something that lasts a while. It's a good thing I'm a summoner. So... Uh, Astral Flow. We talked to her. Cool. Look at that, we're a master already. Congratulations, entering the Schultz School of Martial Theory. Professor Albrecht. No need to steam up your glass, Professor Arlene. I'm merely here to pick up the sheets of vellum. Ah, here we are, splendid. Were you aware that the history of magic stretches back 600 years? During that time, the rapid evolution of magical research has produced a myriad of spells and incantations. However, the effective utilization of these spells has never been the subject of thorough academic inquiry. These so-called mages have been so infatuated with their own power, that they have never spent the time to me meditate on the method of its use. In this respect, their ignorance equals that of common military scholars, who on the other hand have ignored the existence of magic in their strategies. And that is where the Schultz School of Martial Theory breaks away from this pack. In this age of sunny magical revolution, we are the only school to fuse arcane mystery with modern military tactics. A stirring or oration, indeed, but a little knowledge is a dangerous thing. Uh, do you recall that lesson, Albrecht? Professor Schultz, the roads are not safe. How did you... Pleasure to see you again, Arlene, or Albrecht. The resourceful general employs his enemies as well as his allies. I merely hopped in the back of a passing beastman supply wagon and alighted near my destination. Same old Professor Schultz. I believe our introductions are in order. Erlene, if you might do me the honor. This is Professor Gunther Schultz, the founder of the Schultz School of Martial Theory. He's the hero of the stock, the type of genius that is born once a century. Erlene. My name and title would have been sufficient. I am but a member of the Academic Society, nothing more. And who do we have here? That's right, is it? In this world of chaos, there is always an avenue to salvation. One age, that salvation may take the form of a brilliant, charismatic leader. Another age, an immensely powerful weapon. However, I believe the key to ending this war will be the knowledge and actions of those who have mastered the arts of this military scholar. That is my firm conviction, and I am certain a day will come when you will hold the same belief. Uh, but listen to me ramble, I have no time to be delivering lectures. Schultz School Martial Theory encourages practical application. Only through testing your strategies in the heat of battle will you begin to grow as a scholar. That's right, do not lose yourself in the power of the grimoire, but look within yourself for the direction you must tread. Now if you'll excuse me. Alright. Easy. Well, that's done. 
And it's a new day, so I can go turn in the, um, actually I can go back to the, uh, what's his name? Gestad? The Puppeteer Quest. Let's go to the book. We're back to Artugan. Whoops. Oh well. I didn't mean to use the taps. guy who's up north. Um, thank you for the welcome. Yes and no. So, I did play this way, way back in the day when it first came out. And, fuck, I played it for years. And I got away from it, then I came back... Fuck. Like, ten years ago, I think, I tried again. And then I finally came back last year. And the way it's been so different since then, it's actually breathtaking. But I never finished, like, all the entire story and everything. So, you know what, I should come back and do that. And do some of the other side stuff that I've never done. So, that's good. Because I owned up all the expansions up to Winds of the Goddess I owned. But I never finished of Promathia or Treasures, which I've finished those, and then Wings I've never even started. So Wings is actually what I'm on now. But um, during this last campaign, I figured, you know what, let me level up a bunch of jobs, which I did. I figured, you know what, let me unlock some more of them. Um, but I have played 14. So 14 I played when it first came out, when it was garbage. And then I played it when it re-releases A Real Reborn. And after that, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna go back to that one too. <clears throat> but one of the like, DLC came out for it, which I never did. But I actually started playing that again last year, too. Because I've never done the expansion in that game, either. But thank you for the welcome back. And I actually prefer this game to Realm Reborn. I mean, a uh, 14. There's something more special about it. I liked this one compared to the 14. I liked it, like, I do agree that's a lot of, like, more streamlined, which is nice, because back in the day it was really grindy. Um,. Right, so the grind can play like end game stuff. Um, but the one thing I did like about this game was like how you were forced to party up with people to like, level up and stuff. I thought that was cool because it really brought like a community together. Whereas MMO is kind of kind of like spread out from that. It's like oh, once in a while, I just get to join with people. It's like it's kind of it seems odd. But um, I think this built like more of a like, close knit like family type feel, which is cool. But it was definitely very, very grindy. Is part of the reason why I never finished anything. Sorry for the wait. Here's the Tom I promised you. I upgraded it to the newest model. This model was a prototype. I remembered a great deal with while studying it. The data was extremely helpful and is certain to prompt great progress in my research. I hope you will find the Tom just as invaluable as it now belongs to you. Take good care of it now. <laughs> And this game did a good job, like, even with the grind, like, when, especially when you take out the battling, and just talk about the travel, like, from one place to another, it took forever to get to, which now it's so much better with the fast travel, but 
they did a good job of like building a world and like building like the adventure and stuff. Um, I think MMOs kind of like lose that nowadays, but it's not bad. They have to, I think nowadays they just have to fight the right balance for it. Because there's some MMOs where it's just like, you can do everything really quick and it's like, what? What happened? And that's why they go free to play so soon. Alright, what am I doing? Did I just finish that? Oh no, I didn't. I have to turn it into um, this Taru up here. Exactly. It's a very alive world. Oh wait. I'm on the other side. I want to be by the um, palace. I gotta go down. Bum, bum, bum. All right, well, we run there. Let me look up. You again? What do you want now? You, you brought me an automaton. For, for me? No, no, no. I, I can't possibly accept this. Until recently, I was considered the top puppeteer in Urugum, so I know how they work. These automaton won't work with anyone but you. Try it out, and you'll see what I mean. The automaton only worked for me, and I couldn't have performed with another automaton either. You form a sort of bond, you see. What, does that create a problem for you? Oh yes, I did mention that I can't talk about puppeteering without an automaton, didn't I? I'm just saying that to get rid of you. Don't get me wrong, I was completely serious about not being able to talk with about Mithra if there are no ears or tails involved. Um, anyway, what did you want to ask about pup me about puppeteering? Or did you come to ask me about how goblins look under their masks? You see, about that... Oh. You were more interested in puppeteering after all. You want to know what it takes to become a puppet master, do you? <clears throat> I don't know what you're talking about. You're already a puppet master. You have your own automaton, that's proof. Huh? Samaran told you you can't operate an automaton if you're not a puppet master? Hmm. He's just making stuff up. Well, come to think of it, he does have a point. If you can't let the automaton know what you're thinking, it's not going to move. Got something to help you with that. Ah, here it is. You can use this controller. Now try pushing here. It's alive. See? Now it knows what you're thinking. And the more you work together, the more responsive he'll become to your commands. You can use this animator to give direction to your automaton. Oh, and you should give your automaton a name, too. It's all yours now, so you get to decide. Alright, so we got a lot of names here, like the different Dragoon. Historian. Bobesh. Any weird names, like fucking George. George the fucking Wyvern. C fucking comedy. Um, you see more... Whatever. You know what? You can be Lobo. There you go. 
Good luck. I'm behind you all the way. There's no crazy names there. The fucking Wyvern had some crazy ass ones. Alright, so Puppet Master done. So the only two jobs I don't have unlocked are Geomancer and Runefencer. I'm gonna leave those locked for a while. Um, so now. Let's do some artifact armor. Since I'm already a summoner, I might as well just do it for that. So we have to go to Windurst Walls. Um, Interact with the House of the Hero to speak with Carbuncle. Cool. Is it? No. Uh, House of Hero. Oh, it's way up there. Okay. Quicksand Caves, huh? Oh. One of the Cloister of Tremors. That's a good point, and then I have all the crystals for those areas. Alright, Carbuncle, what's up? that pours down from on high flowing over the victors of the challenge that's right look within yourself the energy that I've granted to you and your adventurer brethren has been stolen my gaze sweeps the world and I've glimpsed the plunderer of that power detestable puppet cursed prayer warped logic the common people stand in the center of that maelstrom yes now in the western city of Bastok all right So now, Port Pestock. I'm going to talk to Jerowo. Italy Gold Galdi. You the Earth Pendulum. Are these the guys that gave us the tuning fork? they might be. Actually, I don't think they are. Cause those, oh, they are there. Well, one of them is. How's he? Well, just don't make me talk. I heard all over. Hey, Juro. Oh, it's Ildi Galdi. It's been some time since you made that tuning fork. Are you still researching those giant, giant crystals? Ah, yes, that's a veteran adventurer to look into that for me, but he hasn't come back yet. Wait, did he come back already? Or did I even ask him to do that yet? What's wrong with you? Pull yourself together, man. I don't think the food in this country agrees with you. Maybe you haven't been getting enough snoozy booze time lately. 
No, it's something like that. I guess I have been kind of tired lately, though. Well, no, Mataru. I'll go look at. I'll go take a look. But ask to carry out an experiment with the new version of the Tuning Fork of Earth, the improved Tuning Fork of Earth. Hey, Mr. Adventurer, you look like the reliable, viable type. Maybe you can help me out here. Take this Earth Pendulum to the Quicksand Caves in the Eastern Altepa Desert. Use my using my improved Tuning Fork of Earth along with your Earth Pendulum should allow more people to be drawn to the crystal than using the regular Tuning Fork of Earth. Okay. I can't remember if I actually picked up the other fork from him. I'm able to do this first. Alright, dude. I get it. Enough gestures. What? Alright, he'll, he will give me the fork anyway. It's good. Come on. I already know your conversation. Did the mini fork quest? Same shit. Bum, 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 bum. All right. So I'm gonna warp the closer tremors. There we go. Cool. Trade the Earth Pendulum to the crystal. I can't use trust in this fight. Interesting. Huh. This goes well. I'm gonna need MP though. Um, where were you? What type of desert? Fire spikes, maybe we'll use it for it. Hmm. This might not go well. I mean, I should be fine. I'm, what, 79? Did I go the wrong way? I did. Damn it. I have the sun sand on me. Well, I might as well just fucking resell it. Alright, well, before we go in here, I need my MP back. Huh. What's the next quest like this look like? So after this, talk to Juro and then talk to Korumaru. Okay. Next quest. <laughs> K 
carbuncle again. Alright, I can use trust next one though, so just 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 this one I can't. Hmm. I wonder if I should just play it like if I use carbuncle, I'll use less MP. I could play it out like um he do like the level twenty solo fight, just fucking run away and let him fight. It's nice that he has like an auto refresh, but it's very slow. drain from that. Forgot about that. Alright, one more bump and then we're good to go. Cool. Alright, here's that. The Puppet Master. Minute 35, well, this probably isn't too bad then. Oh, that was quick. Okay, let's get down to it. With the improved tuning fork of Earth, V should be able to enter the crystal in a larger group than before. Yeah, we can't use trusts, so does that make sense? No. Bam, bam, bam. Who is that? Kusisu? What are you doing here? It's a puppet. Wait a second, that's not you. Hey, come back here, Uran Mafron. My god, it's so fucking bright. Alright then. Use flame spikes. Maybe I should try if it's and if he dies like quickly, I'll probably do the carbuncle route. That's how much damage he does. Actually, this isn't going to be that bad at all. Let's help him out. Actually, I haven't had you in a while. You just know Chris and Pal only. It's actually really nice. I like that. Different speed the shit out of this guy. I'm not even worried about my MP, dude. Fuck his ass up. What the hell was I worried about? <laughs> Nothing. Well, that was not bad at all. Alright. Whoops. You need to go away before you destroy all my MP. Thanks for the help. Alright. I'm back. Whoops. Oh my god. Why do I keep hitting that? To Jeroo. I'm wondering who is going to give us these quests, because it seems like the artifact armor quests you get from the person who gives you the job. 
Carbuncle gave us this one. He technically gives us the quest, but he just doesn't give us the item. Right, so we have three quests and we have three coffers like always. Okay. The only time that changes is with the um, advanced jobs, but not. the first advanced jobs. Welcome back. Ila Goldie returned a little while before. He's been waiting for you. Oh, good. You made it back in one piece. I'm sorry about before. I was completely vaguely caught up with chasing down Ron Mafron. Didn't end up collaring him, though. Those mages can be a slippery, vippery bunch. But at least we've known the reason why. The researchers have been acting so oddly bodily lately. It was all his doing. Ron Mafron. He's been erasing everybody's memories. When you get back to Vindrist, could you report this to the principal? To know Principal Korimaru will remember Ron Mofron, but it's worth a shot. It's fucking names the Tarus. Alright, back to Winter's Walls. After we finish this one at the zone before we can talk to the door. I need an item though. I can't buy them. I can't open the auction house. Let me grab that really quick. It'll probably be pricey too, it's a level 50 item. So I need to get Astragalus. It's a throwing item. I need four. Whoops. Um, would it be ammo? I guess. I need level 50. Um, what's it called? Of course. Well, they've had it recently. Shit. Requirements bone craft fifty eight. I 
I mean, I could try making it, but my ass is level one, so that ain't gonna happen. Damn. I mean, I can try. Second rank. Well, that sucks. I'll have to work on that then. Oh, well. Might as well just finish this next one that we're on, start it, and then try a different job artifact armor, I guess. What am I doing? Crystals over here. Alright. Winders walls. This house is right here. <sighs> what diddly doodly can I do for you? You made a slam dangly talented Tartari named Ildi Goldie in Bistock, but he wants you to ask me about Uron Mufron. Not sure I can hip helpily help you. I only remember the name Aruni is the cute girls who are connected with my research. Of course you do. Uron Mafron, Uron Mafron. I'm not sh I'm sure I've heard the name around it doodly somewhere before. Uh, I just can't remember. I can't just can't remember Reno. If you give me a little more time to think dinkly dink, you can have this. I get asked to do a diddly do as so many things, my brain is fit to bane bustily burst. Fucking tons about to burst. Cuckoo Cuckoo Clan Cuckoo Coal Can Staff, okay. MP plus twenty. There you go. Alright, so I can't do the next quest because I don't I can't have the item. The only place to get it is either crafting or buying the auction house. The auction house doesn't have it. Just have to wait till it gets it. Actually, I didn't even check the price for it. Oh well. Only need four of them. So I'll keep an eye out for that. So, since we can't do that, let us do a different job. Um, let us do so many choices. You know what? Let's do black mage. That'll work. I need a faded crystal, so I'm gonna sub white. So we can go get that real quick. Change my job. Uh, white. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, black. Support white. Thanks. 
Why did you leave me naked? Oh, you can't wear this. That's why. Um... Yeah, it doesn't matter. I should have... Access to teleport idea, okay, well. Actually, before we do that, do I have a crystal? I do, okay. My god, I forgot how long it takes to teleport. the trade of the broken one, isn't it? Or is it any of them? I can't remember. Um, let's find out. Oh, there you go. That was it. Perfect. So we're going to go to Heaven's Tower. It's something that's resistant to all physical damage. Oh. Huh. It's good to have a bunch of magic trusts. Although I could probably do it myself. What level's my black mage? 75, isn't he? Yeah. talking to you? Chum. Chum, chum. Oh, bottom floor. Got it. Doo -doo -doo. I don't know why every time I'm in this place I just get creepy vibes. I don't know why. Here's Tarus. Something with a song. What, uh, what you got there?
All right. Oh, I hope that this works. Hold on, hold on. I'm sorrier than Scream Fungus, but you can't come in here today. The doctors are coming to talk about the condition of the baby wavy star trees. Ho, ho, ho. Did somebody, some buddly buddy, call my name a Rooney? Hey, Shantoto. Oh, uh -huh, there's nothing you total losers have to fear now that I am here. Ahem, now where was I? Ah, oh, yes, the reason I called it for you all here today. As you know, Shimami would like us to find out, Ithi, what is wrong with the development, Ithi, of the baby star trees. If we don't do something quicker than a quad off at a quilt fair, all the star trees in the orchard will hear well... Well, the answer is right smack dabbly under our tippity toes. The soil. The soil has gone all bad battering. Batterino. There are more neutrinofied nutrients in the soil, which we've been using the same oldie moldy soil for hundreds of years, right? Yes, but up until now, there have been no real problems. Now, Professor, don't rush at thee into any conclusions. Come to conclusions before we have at thee any data is not logical. We must cross all our I's and dot all our T's before making any new theories. Oh, Dr. Oran Oran, stop the nagging. When was the last time Korimoru was ever logical with anything? I heard that, Shintoto. If you're so smartly smart, what do you think is wrongrific with the star trees? Oh, uh -huh. I was wondering when you would ask. Look at this light. Can't you see too? Can't you two see that it's dimmer than it was before? When it comes to the subject of photosynthesis, I'm filled with knowledge galore. Plants need light to grow. Take light away from the star trees and their rate of growth will be slow. So that is your solution, Chumimi, my dear. All you have to do is turn up the light in here. But doctor, we check the light every day. It's as bright as, it, as brass bed. Soil, light, are you too dim what's through with it yet? The problem obviously if it lies in the water. Listen, recently I've had many reports of problems with Sarita Baruta's water. These star trees are offspring of the, of the great star tree. They have existed the in winters for many, many generations. They've been around Athe since the times when magic was overflowing in these parts. Of course, they're going to be sensitive to drop Athe and magic levels in the water. <coughs> if I may, Doctor, we've been using the crystals and the adventurers gathered to keep the magic level of the water as high as half-witted hornet. I say it's the soy diddly soil, then it's the soy diddly soil. Preposterous, that light is what it must be, it must. Just one moment, did you not hear the of my scientific theory at the end of the water? It's the soy doddly soil. The light. Water. These guys never get along, do they? What to do, what to do? I'm more confused than a constipated carrying worm. Alright, could you do something? Ooh, I took a side. I don't really know. You know what? I don't want Shantoto's wrath, so there you go. Listen to me, you two. You don't want to make a sh shakily bake me angry. I can always tell everybody. I like how we're clapping to get their attention. I can always tell everybody buttily about the time, you two. You wouldn't dare unless you want me changing you into a pair of dirty underwear. Quiet, both of you, or I'll collect with you on those debts you owe me. Alright, we're ignored. Um, could you maybe, um, just shut up for a second? Um, oh, she's had enough of their shit. Why don't we try all three of your plans? The baby star tree's getting better is all that really rally matters, right? You know, she does have a Thea point. I'll have the rhinos tree send a Thea over a large shipment of giddiest water. Good day. Leave the soy diddly soil up to little of me. The meteorites I have are fantastamundo. Well, if it isn't the total loser, that's right. What brings you here? Well, no matter. I have a job for you. You can go do it on your own. I want you to travel to Zarka Bar to collect a glowstone. How do we get one? Toss a faded crystal into the Aurora Crevice and Zarka Bar, and you're done. For you? Sure. I'm glad she's things my way. Now off here with you. Alright. To 
Zarkapard we go. Um, close the fastest way to get there. Survival guide to castles of all Baileys. And it just zoned Zarkapard. You got it. Bum, bum, bum. Nulu Nulu Jutata Um, whoops Doors over here Wow, there's actually Humes here Just staring at the water but, Like, it's so beautiful Talking is um Taru is it's quite draining. They all talk in such different ways, like they're so different. Tongue twisted a lot. Alright, I need a book. Where's the book here? I think it's in the port. By the entrance. Markers at E8. Whoops. Drop my keyboard. Alright. Um, it's this one, right? Yeah. I'm not too worried about the summoner artifact armor. I'll get it eventually. If I need to craft it myself, I will. But like I said, it sells pretty often. It looks like it did up there. So I'll have to keep checking every time I log in. Eventually I'll find it. That's what happened with something else I needed. The next day I logged in, boom, it was there. So, um, What am I doing? I'm going to zone out. Don't worry, we'll be back to this place for the... um. Fucking dark spark again for our hands. I didn't even like to see if I had the coffer keys for the for Black Mage. The fuck is this? What did I just set off? That's right. Now that I passed the mortal realm, I have only you to turn to. Time left to me is short. Thirty years ago, I came into contact with the insidious power of this land and rose from the grave. However, at the same time, this world laid claim to a part of my soul. I have been released from the hate that consumed me, but the half of my soul that was taken captive all those years ago is calling to me. It has become a towering darkness, a raging hatred spawned from the depths of my being. Very soon, I will be drawn to that soul. I no longer have the strength to resist. The soul that was divided will become whole once more, and that rage will take my own physical form. A new Shadow Lord will be born. Surely you have sensed the growing evil. The beastmen or armies that are imprisoned here are massing for battle. They plan to return to the world of their origin, the realm that exists beneath the light of hope. My link to you soon will soon be severed, so listen carefully. 
Thirty years ago, an expeditionary squad formed from the elite soldiers of each nation was sent to investigate the Northlands. You must have seen their memories when you first laid your land upon the chunks of magicite. Seek out the markings that are the expedition members left behind. They will aid you in gaining entrance to this world. You must defeat the Shadow Lord before our unification is complete. My hopes go with you, that's right. What the fuck was that? I was not expecting to see him there when I zoned. What? Is it a quest or a mission? This? No. Um... I started this? I don't remember this. What the hell was that? Thing, nothing of it. Don't worry, it's probably nothing special. I don't even know what the hell that was. Congrats, you have Dynamis access now. That's what that was? Well, I did not expect to, um, see that when I came here well cool all right where I said I was going um, e8 on the map. Yep, there it is, okay. Now, just to be safe. Um, let's hit to resist physical damage. So you four get to come out. Just, oh, you know what? No, yeah. All right, trade the what do you mean? out of range. There you go. You guys are just gonna destroy it for me? That's cool. I'll just, I'll just sit here and let you guys do all the work. Oh, he still does take physical damage. I don't know why the guy says he doesn't. I mean, I guess he has stone skin, so it takes less. And right, we got a glowstone. That's that. Do, do, do. Q 
Come on. There we go. Can't wait to get back to this awesome game with a good PC. Now I just gotta install all these drivers. Nice, dude. Fantastic. It does take a while to install, though. Luckily, it seems it installs a lot faster now than it used to back in the day. Um, where's it going up here? Heaven's Tower. Ooh, I need a this next quest. Bag of seeds. Exclusive rare, of course it is. Alright. What time is it? Eleven twenty. And I need the weather condition to be right for this qu next quest here, too. I feel like something like this was going to happen. Oh, wait. I forgot. Trade it to her. There you go. You come back. Well, I'm about as grateful as a goblin in Gustaberg. I'll attach this to your current machine. Oh, and Dr. Shintoto told me to give you this. Take it as a sign of gratitude, but knowing the doctor, I would say she's got more work in store for you. Of course she does. Alright. And it is a club. It's like... I wish I thought you'd be getting the staff. I guess they're both around the same level. Heads up, check the elemental before you fight it. There's lots of stronger stuff down there now. Ooh. Thanks for the warning. Right. Now we go back in, talk to her again. Hopefully the weather is the right condition. Either fire or water elemental. Check the weather in Upper Juno for Rollinberry Fields as it is shared with Crawler's Nest. Hmm. 
Well, I guess it's probably more likely it's water than fire. I need to go back to the castle. 